And good morning from Scotty Rain. Candace, Monday morning once again. It is. And the pollen is killing me. Is it out? It is awful. It's horrible. I, I told Scotty Ray my eyes are watering, and it's just about to get to me. Even though I'm using that Flonase stuff, yeah. it, just, it ain't helping my eyes any. So Pollen has an effect on it. And we've got, what, three, four weeks of this stuff? Yeah. Those Bradford pears, I mean, they've just got pollen all over everything. But anyway, and I was cutting grass yesterday, so. It got you stirred yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to be crying like mm-hmm. you got an onion around your I, neck. I, look, if I am wiping on my eyes, that's why. Because I feel like I'm crying. <laughs> anyway. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, be prepared, as we mentioned, weather this week. Mm-hmm. And I think we need to do a, a recap of what's going on with the weather this week. Let's start out with radar right now, what we got right now. I, somehow or another, amongst everything this morning, I didn't do a radar check. I don't know how mm-hmm. I've done that, but I didn't. <laughs> but as we go to uh, radar this morning, we're showing that the rain that we got right now is out to the west here in Jackson, mm-hmm. uh, around Pearl. Nothing bad. Uh, so we're good to go. Let's uh, let's now pull up severe weather for today and show what it's going to do today. Now, this is the severe weather that is forecasted for today. This is going to be this afternoon. It takes in down to Hattiesburg, uh, most of uh, Neshoba County, southwest corner there of Winston County, all of uh, Knoxby and down Scott uh, Newton County. You're in this just barely into Scott County. Clark, you're involved in it too. And mm-hmm. then it stretches all the way almost to Huntsville, Alabama there, just straight across through Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. That's for tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move forward and look at... Now, tonight, th- the risk is very minimal of actually getting a tornado. Mm-hmm. Uh, c- you can't rule it out, right. but the odds are not in the favor of getting anything like that tonight. So let's uh, move forward to tomorrow night where chances increase. Let's turn today off. This is tomorrow. Look at the difference. Now... This puts us in this. Oklahoma City, this area here, is mm-hmm. the one that is going to have the worst of the worst weather there from Kansas uh, down to Lawton, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and that area. And we are included in this. And it is a chance of possibility getting some some tornadic activity tomorrow. We cannot rule it out. It's a higher chance tomorrow than it is today. All right, let's move to the severe, severe of uh, all of them here, and that's going to be on Wednesday. If you'll look at the different shade now, mm-hmm. this is us right here. I now, I was asked about New Orleans earlier. Y- y'all are in this. Um, we look at here, Meridian has a higher risk, but this yellow, that's that's pretty strong, too. Mm-hmm. So it cannot be ruled out anywhere down here through Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, Alexandria, Shreveport. But the Meridian area over to Montgomery, up to Oxford, and circles back to Huntsville and all the way up here. Now, this is going to take in Jackson, Tennessee also. Murfreesboro, y'all have got a chance, but that Jackson, Tennessee is kind of the line of the worst to the worst, including Memphis. So be prepared tomorrow. Uh, this is not something that you want to take lightly. Uh, mm-hmm. Plan ahead. Be, be you know. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we are uh, on that. Now, mm-hmm. let's uh, let's pull up I'm here. I'm not looking forward to that. I no. Bad weather. Uh, mm. Bad weather is a, is a, is a serious serious thing, mm. and let's go back and look at the our timeline maps of what I've got laid out. This is today, uh, what we've got this afternoon here, and again, it doesn't mention tornadic activity. It's from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. is what they're betting on this. I wouldn't bet the farm on anything horrible, thunderstorms of that kind of nature. As we move to tomorrow, as you'll see, that increases there. And we do have chances of tornadic activity there, damaging wind up to 60 miles an hour, uh, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Now, our area, when this bad should move in, should be around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I mean, on Wednesday. Let me get my straight. From from 3 o'clock until midnight. Uh, This is very serious. As I've mentioned, I showed uh, this Mm -hmm. morning, I showed the video of that tornado that touched down in Meridian back in 2018. Very serious storm. Mm-hmm. So uh, be prepared, have a place to go. If you live in a mobile home and things start breaking out, it, it's not running anybody down. It's saving your life. Go right. somewhere else. You know, yeah. and you say, have well, a plan. I yeah, mean, say, I don't sure. have a, uh, a storm shelter and I don't have anybody close to me. Drive to a store yeah. that has a, a thick wall. Mm-hmm. Go to Walmart, go to somewhere. Yeah. Just know what you're going to do uh, and don't stay in it. Uh, even. A brick home can be blown away by a tornado uh, quickly. Yeah. So uh, figure it out. I mentioned helmets. That, I, I know it sounds kind of weird of, why do you want me to wear a helmet? Mm-hmm. 
Because if you were to be thrown in a tornado, head damage is what normally kills somebody when you're slammed against something. And yeah. if you've got a football helmet, a bike helmet, or any kind like that, uh, it's good motorcycle helmet. Yeah. Then, uh, as I mentioned, boots. Mm -hmm. We're hard sole boots. Those work boots are, are thick lever sole uh, shoes, whatever it is. To, there's nails. Uh huh. And if I, your home was to be knocked down, it would just be rubble. Yeah. I, I just, I, just even talking about bad weather just gets me all in a, a tizzy because I, I just am so scared of bad weather. And I used to. I mean, I used to get the blankets out, the pillows, right. put them in the tub, you know, make my kids get in the bathtub if we couldn't go anywhere else, you know. Right. I mean, it just, it scares me to death. And, of course, my mother has a storm shelter in the ground, and a lot of times we would think ahead and just go on over there, you know. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it gets, it's inconvenient, but in the end, you know, it could save it's your life. It's so. well worth um, your life. So, so have a plan for sure. Do that because uh, we want you here after that. Now, again, it's just going to be a wet, rainy kind of week, so just be prepared for it. But by Friday, things will turn around. We'll get some, It looks like a great-looking weekend ahead for us. So. Well, that'll be great. But I'll be here yeah. to go live, and we'll do street by street, let you know where it is in relation to with where you are to make sure that you're safe. So pay attention over the next uh, few days. And, the ba you know, bad weather at night is always Ooh. just horrible to me because you can't see what's going on, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, we'll know more as Wednesday comes if it's going to be more in the, the daylight hours. But as uh -huh. usual, yeah. it's usually, you know, it's 3 p.m. and it gets dark now at 6.37. Yeah, it's it's earlier. And if you have one of those NOAA weather radios, yep. make sure you have, if it's battery operated, make sure you have batteries um, or, you know, if it plugs in. But just have it handy because that'll give you a little heads up, you know. Because, you know, uh, power can go out so then you lose <laughs> mm -hmm. television. Uh, if a cell tower was to be hit, it would knock that out. That, that NOAA gives you an extra. You need two mm -hmm. ways to, to know about this. And the sirens that go off, you can't necessarily hear them during mm -hmm. thunderstorm when it is that loud clapping. You may not hear it at all. Well, like, too, in the county, sometimes in city, you can pretty much hear them, you know. I mean, I, when I used to be at my grandparents' house, you could hear those from miles and miles. But out in the county, sometimes it is harder to hear. You know, in my house, on where you, you would, are, you would have to be outside to hear it. You couldn't mm -hmm. hear it w from inside. Yeah, I mean they're a wonderful thing, and I'm so glad we got them. Right. Um, but just have something handy, just to to give you a heads up um, if you can't hear the sirens at the. I think they what they put them at the like fire department. Yeah, each stuff, fire so, department's got one. Um, but anyway. And maybe you're just getting older like me, and, well, you're deaf now, and you can't hear like you used to. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. If there's any other kind of noise, like rain, like he said, or thunder or something, I mean, I, you can forget it. I ain't going to hear a siren, probably. Because by the time you're in your mid-40s, you can tune out a wife. Easy. Oh. Never even know she spoke. Well, I I get scolded because I don't listen to everybody else around me if I'm watching a video on my phone or if I'm doing anything else. I can't, I, I can't do two things. What do they call that, tunnel vision? Yeah, tunnel vision. I got tunnel hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Anyway. Let's see. Good morning to uh, Joyce Godwin today. Dean Baskin is watching. Also, Gail Williams is up and at them. And uh, Gail Gafford, along with Kay Johnson, is watching. Kyla Moore, all the way from Scooby, Mississippi, is watching. Linda Jane, out in the Giles community. And Diane Holloman from Down Equipment is watching this morning. And again, uh, share, share this with a friend. Um, invite your friends to follow it. it uh, it's just an extra way to know what's going on. I'll be here when... When others aren't thinking about it, I'll be here on top of this weather helping you. So share it yeah. so others know about it. Uh, did you even, because I I guess it's because I don't care anymore, what? the Grammys. Were no. you even aware that they were on last night? I, I was not. I'm, I just have never gotten into the Grammys or any of those things. I just, I, I don't know. You know, and I, I made the mistake of asking you one day what the song WAP meant. Well, of course I didn't even know, and but, then when I actually saw the video, it just, I ended up turning it off before it was even over, because it's just trash. It's, it's vulgar. It it's, is. It's you, trash, okay? Yes. You cannot get any more disgusting. Yeah. I, I don't, well, I say that, and somebody else will, but every word that you can imagine that your mm -hmm. mama told you, if you ever said she'd she'd whoop you, yeah. it's in this. <laughs> And they, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's I mean, well, it's filth. It is filth. I, it but it doesn't. It doesn't. Cuss not, words. It doesn't surprise me though that they allowed them to do this at the Grammys because I mean, this is society today. They think this is the norm. You I, know. I like, read the. I didn't watch it. I read the article about it, and it said that they uh, changed a few words, but to the words 
which is the main portion of the song that they repeat over and over, mm -hmm. they just bleeped out. Yeah. And how anybody with any type of, what's the word I'm looking here for? That has Tooth. Any, yeah. <laughs> Could any kind of morals this, at all. If you could got any allow this to happen. I'm not, yeah. I'm not even sure which network carried this. But um, I mean, you got to be like down here with the catfish yeah. to allow this on your show that you produce that represents you. Whatever network well, you are. Well, anything goes right now. You know, I mean, people are getting out of jail when they've killed people, and right. that's fine. You know, people are um, they're punishing the, the people who are the victims and not the ones that are the criminals. And... And everything's backwards right now, so this does not surprise me. But this just, I mean, it's trash. And I would say look it up so you'd know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to do that to you. So do not look this song up and listen to it. I'm, yeah. I'm dead sick. It is the most... I mean, you might as well have just, like, pornography on watching yeah. it, really. I mean, that's what it is. what it is, yeah. But, you know, this is what our teenagers, you know, have access to and, and watch, so... Now, what I don't know, and you tell me this, do they play this on regular radio stations? I don't know. Or do you have to listen to it on your phone? Because mm. it's like that would cross like FCC rules of uh, stuff that you can't, you know, back when I was in radio, there was mm -hmm. just certain things you couldn't do. Mm -hmm. That? Yeah. Whoa. I mean, I don't know if they play it, because I wouldn't listen to that station. Genre. Probably. Yeah, that genre or whatever, of music. Um, what a tough I don't really listen is. to that. I, I'm more just listen to country or, or old country or something like that. I mean, I mean, I listen to old classic rock and stuff like that, but no, this would not be my choice of music. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Or videos to watch. Now, they also, during the Grammys, and <clears throat> again, I didn't watch it, but this is just to let you know, they had a, let me pull this up where you can read this as we're going along here. They did a they demanded justice from uh, Biden or mm -hmm. Joe during the course of this, during the to a guy named Little Baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know Little Baby, but he sang a song mm -hmm. about police brutality. And, and I'll show you some of the pictures that was with this. And this comes from the Daily Mail. This is how the the act starts out, and then I, I guess they put the the fire scenes in the background. And yeah. Uh, and then on down here, they if you watch the video, it's somebody being arrested. And mm -hmm. I, I guess it's a protest against the Breonna Taylor. Yeah, let's and, stir the pot a little bit yeah. more. You know. And yeah. they made a, a very political, you, can, you can't watch shows anymore without it being 100% political in some kind oh, of yeah. way. Well, I mean, things like this will never end. It'll never calm down. As long as you got people like this just keeping on stirring the pot. I mean, you're not going to mend any fences you're not i mean you can forget it yeah and, you're and, right you know and people are allowing this mess to keep going on i mean you know if people have done wrong they need to to you know answer for that and it needs to go through the courts and stuff like that i mean but just to keep on keeping on stirring the pot and keeping taking that scab off the wound so it'll never heal i mean they're just doing it and then you exactly. back up last year and the year before that they couldn't hold a music awards or any type of grammy or whatever without running trump down and jumping on the people that followed trump mm -hmm. it, just leave it alone and let us for a moment enjoy a good movie there's nothing worse yeah. than have an actor that you like that mm -hmm. a good action film and then find out they're so far to from the left, what, yeah, yeah, of what you yeah. believe. Yeah. Uh, it, but, uh, I mean, that goes on all the time. I know. So, you know, you can imagine. And, and again, I say this, where in the <clears throat> world are we going to be in 10 years from now? I mean, we're not even what? <laughs> how many months has it been since the election? It hadn't even been that long it's, at all. I'm, we're tap at not quite three months yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, these well, people. since you took office. Yeah. It's, it's just like they want to tear down every moral in America. Like, if you have any kind of morals, they want to just chip away at it. Until yeah. there's nothing left, and people can just run free doing whatever they want to do. I mean, that's basically what's going on now. It you is. Know, anyway. So. Uh, and, and other news on a local level, they've announced who's <coughs> going to be at the Jimmy Rogers Festival this year. Uh, Todd Tillman is up there. That's going to okay. be April the 8th is when that show is going to be. Todd will be kind of like what I would call the headliner. Okay. Um, I do, and I say that because I don't know the other two. I got the names, but I don't really know who they are. Uh -huh. On the ninth, they're going to have a guy named Robert Kimbrew Sr. and Royal Horses. And mm -hmm. I think that is a form of blues. Okay. I think. And then on uh, the 11th, a guy named Jamal Roberts will be there. And he won a BET talent, something or another. And I think he does kind of like a, a, a Christian type music. 
is okay. best I can figure on that. I hadn't uh, spoke uh, with the Jimmy Rogers Festival, but uh, that's kind of the lineup of what's coming with that. Uh, in good news this week, they did make an arrest. You, I'm sure everybody saw that in uh, <clears throat> in the Charlie Smith, the attorney. Well, he used to be an attorney; he's a judge now. But Judge Charlie Smith, they made an arrest. Um, for uh, Ernest he, Edwards, 41 years old, is who <laughs> did it. Yeah, if, and for those of you who don't know, he was shot getting out of his truck at the courthouse. Um, someone shot him in the back, and it's been a long time coming. But I'm glad they finally. Made That's an arrest on this, yes. uh, and the charge is attempted capital murder. Mm -hmm. and of course, you're proven innocent until you go to a court of law, and but we don't know the details. Mm -hmm. Did he have some type of connection with Charlie? Uh, yeah, we was don't there a know. case? It's got to be something. Know. That was horrible, though. Um, Charlie Smith is a really good man. I mean, for years, he's helped us out. He was our attorney, you know, to do yeah. any kind of a deed or anything, but... Um, Great guy, and I'm I'm glad somebody's been brought to justice for that. Because but you think about that, like you go down to get a, a car tag at mm -hmm. the courthouse, you're getting out of your vehicle and you're shot. Oh, I you know. don't see it coming, and I that's know. what happened to him. It was early in the morning. Yeah, too, really early in the morning. So, um, I'm glad that everybody was able to work together though, and and yeah. solve that because I was wondering. I, I thought, you know, I don't know unless there was cameras or, you know, and I don't know how it came about, but. I'm glad and it did. We'll see if there's mm -hmm. more people involved. We don't know at this yeah. point. It seemed like a, a lone person because no one knew anything. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk. Um, of course, the, out at uh, Why Not this uh, past weekend, hope you had a chance to go out and do the Monster Truck Show. A lot of mm -hmm. people turned out for that. A great event. Uh, races will return on the 20th to Why Not. Let's see, they're going to have the Super mm -hmm. Late Models, the Southern Outlaw Midgets. And i got to talk to Rodney about the midget racing because I don't know everything I need to know about that. <laughs> Plus the <laughs> weekly races. So uh, I don't know if that's like the midget wrestling. I, <laughs> I'm teasing. I, I really don't know. Gosh. But I'll talk. To, you ever seen midget wrestling? Uh, <clears throat> no, but I, I did watch that Little People show or something. Um, we little were, Women or I don't know what it was. A bunch of women, and they were just catty all the time, fussing and fighting. And a couple of them got in a little brawl. So I was out of town one time, and that was in the little town that we were in. They had it at a high school gym, uh -huh. and it was midget wrestling. And it was really more comedy. Yeah. Than it was, but it was it was funny. They they were hilarious. Some feisty ones. Yeah. So <laughs> if you ever get a chance, just yeah. check that out. Yeah. Uh, again, I hope your morning is going well. We're uh, sitting for a high today. I believe we're going to get up to about 82 degrees today before it's all said and done. As mm. we look at that forecast, let me go back up here and make sure I'm definitely 82. Now, we've got a 60% chance of rain between now and 11 o'clock, and then a chance of thunderstorms between 11 and 2, and then a chance of thunderstorms after that. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, 60%, and then, well, we know the story that goes on from there that's going to be next. So so Thursday, I mean, is Wednesday supposed to be really the last of it? Thursday think? of the severe weather for us, as we go to the forecast for mm -hmm. us, we still got a slight chance of rain. But it'll get sunshine by the afternoon with a high of, uh, oh, I think about 80 and then 25 mile an hour gust. We got these gusts oh, I know. for the next the few days. Is, the wind is horrible. It was bad yesterday. and But we got sunshine and it'll be cooler <clears throat> on uh, Friday, 61. So sunshine is coming on Friday. So right. Be ready for that. Dumped a lot of snow with the storm out in Cheyenne, Wyoming, up to three feet in some areas. It's there. called Zyla. Is that what the name is? I right? believe that's how mm -hmm. it, yeah. if you heard me mix it mix it up, I said Zila one time. Oh. Just leave it to me to rename <laughs> some things. I can do that in a heartbeat. So this is breaking this weekend. Mm -hmm. You go to the doctor, you find out you got something that's got to be operated on, and off to the operating room mm -hmm. you go. Well, turns out there's a group of and, and this is gonna be um, I wanna say this is Minnesota, Michigan is where this story goes. Here's the headline of this. Uh, as we pull this up, they take pictures with your organs, and it's a group of about 35 of them, and they play games with this. As you'll look at this, this is from the OR. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do you feel about this, of doctors doing this? And this is some of the, the, the tweets that they sent out. This was actually on Instagram is where they done mm -hmm. it, uh, among each other. And one of the games that they played was uh, the longest one wins, and that would be your tissue. Yeah. The second game that they were playing was guess the weight of whatever they took out of you. Uh, and this was, yeah, like you said, amongst, just amongst the doctors. It was right. supposed to not be leaked leaked out, but you know how that goes. So. You know, healthcare yeah. is not supposed to be a, a game that you play with others, but uh, 
That's just weird to me, though. I mean, that's just... Now, has there probably been verbal things that's went on for years, but when you put it to where it can't be erased, Mm -hmm. it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, I, if I was the patient, I, I mean, of course, I'm sure they're knocked out. You yeah, know, they're they're, not, they're blurred they're, out yeah. of that. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're like out of it. Too. They're not going to be awake. But um, I, that would be a concern to me that, you know, I'm down here wide open, <laughs> cut open you're or whatever, you know, and you're up here going, oh, yeah, what about this one? What about that one? Yeah, that's crazy so to me. That's, uh, I'd be worried he wouldn't be, you know, paying attention to what he's doing. That's right. And, um I guarantee you it's going to, they've launched an investigation there in Michigan at that hospital. And it was at one hospital there. Yeah. So they, they're going to, somebody's going to pay the piper, so to speak, mm-hmm. out of that before it's all said and done. Um, the next story that we go to, I, you know, there is no reason whatsoever to be mad at Joe over this. Uh, here's the headline. Let me pull that up where you can see this. They're mad at Joe Biden for taking Air Force One home. On the weekends, I, I I don't. Well, don't you think they're probably just building their little case to pull him on out of there? And I this guess is one so. of the little steps that they're taking. You know, they're going to start bashing him for this and bashing him for that. Well, know? they say that this was a part of a thing that it was a bad example because mm-hmm. of the coronavirus to take the jet because so many people have to go with him. Well, he took the smaller jet mm-hmm. home. Number one, it was less people on it. Mm-hmm. You have to, at the end of the day, you're the president of the United States. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to go where you want to. Right. And we all know the president of the United States, whoever that person is, the extreme measures are always taken for the mm-hmm. president where he won't be sick. We know that. And for all of the other things that have um, been done, we're so worried about this being a bad example. Like, really, we're not worried about all the other things that, they, that they've done and the executive orders to me that were majorly bad examples. But they make um, a big to do out yeah, of this. Yeah, but they're gonna make a big to do about that. They're just gonna they're gonna start like nitpicking. You watch. I, you know, and I have to pick Joe's side on this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see where Joe done anything wrong. Well, I don't see where this is wrong either. But I mean, just watch though. If it's, if something right. comes up, you know how this Cuomo thing is. If something comes up that has to do with Joe, they're gonna throw him under the bus. You just watch. They have, uh, you know, you bring up the, the uh-huh. Cuomo thing. Now, Joe, if you if you watched yesterday, he came out and spoke about it, mm-hmm. but he didn't say resign. He said, let the investigation go forward. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a lot of talk, but here's what concerns me. Because there's a seventh per- yeah. person now, you know. Now, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong here, though. It, it's kind of like them eating their own. Mm-hmm. We don't know. There, there has not been, and I brought up the Kavanaugh thing. Yeah. Truly, does the investigation need to go through to make sure that this stuff is real? Or is it enough evidence to where he really should sit down, step down? Oh, I mean, I think they need to have a. I mean, I think they need to investigate it but for should, sure. But should but he to resign? Me, well, I think he should resign for the nursing home stuff. No, I agree with That's that. That's the main thing. I mean, you know, we know that a lot of politicians and a lot of just people in general are crooked when it comes to, you know, infidelity and all that kind of Correct. stuff. Okay, um, and. That's not, I don't really care about that. I don't care. I mean, I know that he shouldn't be the governor and be doing things like that, obviously. But to me, when this nursing home thing and the coronavirus putting all those people in there and them getting sick and people dying, thousands of people dying, and then them lying about it, that to me is a, that should be the major story. But, um, you know, you and know. most of the, 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 the original stories that was coming out, the first one, two, or three were, well, he said something that was mm-hmm. inappropriate. Now we're on to number seven or number eight yeah. that is saying that he actually did something, correct? I that, think. That he yeah. touched me or yeah. groped me. Yeah. Now, one of them was he put his hand on the small of my back and all this stuff. And I understand. I'm not trying to belittle it because, I mean, yeah. you know, for those women. You know, if he did these things, I'm sure it is a major thing to them. And it is a major thing that needs to be investigated. But to me, I feel, I just kind of feel like it's it's a diversion thing, you know, uh, like it, too, for away from the main subject. Correct. Both things need to be handled. Um, I think first and foremost, this, the coronavirus thing that come up first needs to be dealt with. There's some numbers hit you know, there. So, um, but you know, it may, it worries me. Does this set an example of the next time a politician they want to get rid of, they just get four or five more to go, Hey, this mm-hmm. went on to where they can get rid of them without investigating something. Yeah. I, I, I mean, truly I truly believe an investigation needs I, to happen. Yeah, I do too. I mean, with anything, I think an investigation needs to happen. Um, <clears throat> but you know, 
there's a lot of stuff that needs to be investigated right now, though, that they're yeah. just putting under the, pushing light. under the rug. So, you and know. it's like what you just said, smoke and mirrors. If you've got something mm -hmm. that you don't really want to talk about, mm -hmm. you start a fire over here with the smoke to where it kind of downplays yeah. the bigger issue. Well, and the United States is great at that. Well, and Cuomo, is, he's, he's trying the same thing because, um, like, he was trying to make out the other day um, about – pull racism into the whole thing about the coronavirus vaccine saying you know that that more he was trying to like act like he was more on the people's side who had not gotten the vaccine right you know i don't know i just i don't trust him i feel like he's a, a snake in the grass no, he is without a doubt <clears throat> and i, I, um, do agree with I you definitely believe he needs to go now the but. funny thing that has come out of this is the blanket the meme have you been where he was walking around outside his mansion with the blanket on? Oh, off? yeah. And with his daughter, he had his daughter on his arm or something. I wasn't sure who that was at first, but um. Yeah, that's yeah. his daughter. But the the blanket thing, <laughs> he's been popping up in little memes and pictures. Well, he's just real. Um, you can tell he loves fame. He, he loves does. to be in charge. You know, he loves to try to call the shots, and um, you know, he's probably grasping at straws to hold on to that money. And yeah, he's getting and all that. So. Now, the next Joe story that you go to, they held a, a press conference to talk <clears throat> about the $1.9 trillion, trillion, I don't know how people will ever pay for this. Mm -hmm. Not saying that we don't need it, but there were a lot of hidden things in this, but not one single Republican was in the, and that's not unity. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't care. He's not one Republican voted for it. Not one person was there when they done the press conference mm -hmm. with this. But of course, Nancy and the gang were there at the White House when they did do this, but well, I, I just don't even know why they can even call it a COVID relief package because they even they, you know, when they investigated everything or looked at everything, I say investigated, but when they looked it all over, 9% of that money goes towards COVID. 9%. Yeah. The rest of it is um, like personal things that they wanted for the Democratic Party. And that's not right. And I mean, museums and everything, they want... They want the museums. Why you want museums? You're taking all the history out. I mean, why you need that? Unless and given to other countries, I, I don't. Right. I don't get it. And libraries, you're pulling all the books. Why you need that? You know, millions you think, of dollars. Do you think Kamala and I? It just hit me looking at this picture here. Did she get the pantsuit idea from uh, Hillary? I don't know. Because since she's been vice president, I don't think I've seen her in anything other than a pantsuit. Am I wrong? I haven't seen her in anything but a pantsuit. Yeah. It, but you know, are they popular? I mean, do you, I wear, it, yeah. do you wear pantsuits? If I had one, I would wear it. If I needed to go somewhere dressy, I made know, a mistake I, like twenty five years ago and I bought think, Angie one, and oh my god! I like. I mean, I think they're classy. She told me if I ever brought one home again, she'd whoop me and never to buy her clothes again. And from that moment on, I never bought another item of clothing for her ever. Oh, really? <laughs> ever? <laughs> when I do like to buy my own clothes, I don't like people <laughs> trying to buy clothes for me. But um. I don't know. I think a pantsuit's classy, you know, as long as it's fits right, not real bulk, bulky and all. But um, anyway, come on, like Kamala Harris. Do you yeah. think it's odd that she just like when Biden is sitting there talking, she's right in the background, like she's watching over everything. That's so she <laughs> like what's she over. gonna do? Like, <laughs> I, I firmly believe there's some kind of a, like a a sensor on him that she's got a buzzer in her like hand, like a shot collar. Yeah, like a shot, like. You know. And what you're meaning is like if you're at <laughs> dinner and you say something you shouldn't, you get kicked under the table by right. your wife is what mm -hmm. you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, I, I swear I think she's back there, you know, doing something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm joking, obviously. But Our last <clears throat> Joe story this morning is during his next speech, he did get some figures wrong. And I'm not picking on picking on the man, but he did make some I mistakes. I said he needs to stay away from numbers. And he done this. Of all kinds. He get what he was given this, he messed up the cost of the lives of World War One all the way yeah. through Vietnam combined. He said we'd lost more lives with it, and that was not true. Uh, then he went on to say that uh, he really messed up the Trump timeline of what mm -hmm. Trump did and try not to give credit where Trump is due a lot of credit on this. Mm -hmm. He put it in uh, warp speed there of what would happen and, and went through this. But uh, that's Joe there. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of people Reading. who comment on this of, of what Joe did, what he didn't do, but he can, he cannot do numbers. No, whatsoever. he can't. I mean, he don't, he needs to even stay away from dates, like days of the week, days of the month. I mean, you know, Stories. I mean, like, yeah, months of the year. It may yeah, just be anything. best. He goes, hi, I'm Joe. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm telling you what all happens. And he is our oldest president ever, is he not? Yes. Mm. I mm -mm -mm. think so. 
So have you ever, you've seen parents, and, I, and you probably know this more in the little mm. league mm -hmm. end of it, where parents really get involved in their children playing sports, and they get mad, and they it's almost like a personal attack on them with the children. Yeah. Our next story, and this is just, it's kind of scary as you go into this. A, ch a mom, she was the mother of a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. She wanted her daughter, she got into, her daughter got into a fight with three other people on the team. Mm -hmm. So the mom decides, I'm going to get rid of y'all. And she makes these, takes pictures and puts the pictures of the kids' heads on it, makes them naked, nude, has them oh drinking, and then sends it to the coaches anonymously and also to the other girls on the team and goes, I'm going to release this about you. And it wasn't even them, but they say that it was some kind of editing that it looked real. And now the mom is going to be faced. This is the mom, 50-year-old. Oh, she looks happy. Yeah. She's been slapped with. She looks with real sweet. <laughs> harassment, cyber harassment, charges that she allegedly created <laughs> fake photos and videos of the girls. And she did do it. And uh, she's in trouble big time now she looks like one of them people back in the old days you know like in um well they had one of those big things around their neck you know what i'm talking about yeah like in the night yeah i know exactly what you're talking about but though. uh that's awful though as a parent of those other girls yeah oh gosh i'd be steaming deep faking it and the 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 term of this is the process of doctoring an existing image but it's more sophisticated than photoshop and you can really do what you want with it if you had it so i guess mm -hmm. she spent a little money getting that and she even sent it to all the coaches <clears throat> just to try to mess these up. Mm. So uh, that's that's taking it to a new level. But she's uh, she's in hot water, and she will get some jail time Good. over that. That's you, awful. You can't that's do hard. that to a minor. No, that's horrible. Um, but, you know, I have seen the – I mean, I've never seen anything go to that extent. But <clears throat> I have seen some – I mean, not personally in my own life as far as, like, dealing with people – but I've seen it Correct. on TV. I've seen news stories. I've seen it like these dance moms, you Ooh. know, on TV. And all that. I, some of these people in like pageants. I do remember years ago, I ju not judged, but I did hair for a pageant. I did judge a pageant, but this was not the one. But um, I did hair for a pageant. And little bitty girls now were out there. I mean, they were just big enough to, to walk good. And really, you know, probably they were scared to death walking across. And... There was one mama that was pulling the little girl by her hand. And when she walked off the stage, she goes, if you don't start smiling, I'm going to tear your butt up. You know, I'm just <laughs> like, really my gosh. I mean, I mean, that is just ridiculous to me. But some of these parents live through their kids. That's That was my next statement there. They do. like, And you can tell, like, I guess when they when they were growing up, maybe they didn't get to do these things. And so they're going to live through their kids to Or do maybe it. they don't have the looks that their kids do. Yeah, did, yeah, you know, of, yeah. And so they want to take it to that notch. Now, yeah. this is what this next thing just really blows me <clears> away. <throat> when it's obvious whose fault it is, and then there are people that are great at manipulating the truth to try mm -hmm. to do smoke and mirrors. Nancy Pelosi is it. She, no, I kid you no, not. not Nancy. Nancy. Not Nancy sweet is old Nancy. trying to blame Trump for the crisis at the border, mm -hmm. that his policy's done this. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I knew that was coming. I knew Trump was going to be bashed for it. But Before Trump wouldn't let him in, and then Joe runs for office and says, hey, if I'm elected, I'm going to let y'all in. And believe it or not, there's people mm -hmm. standing there wanting in. Look at this. She's still blaming poor old Donald. He ain't got nothing to do with well, it. He's off playing golf, and yeah. he's being blamed for the border stuff. But as you get down here into this, there are just droves oh of people that are there mm -hmm. waiting to get they in. They just don't know what to do with the mess they've caused. Yeah. And so now they want to blame it on somebody. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, they've bit off more than Chi. Yeah. You know. So what's going to happen with this at the border? We don't know. Uh, I he, think they need to plant them on the White House lawn. Well, Set them up a bunch of tents out there. Well, Porta potties. Just yeah. like those cities there that had those, you know, they don't do anything. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he made it clear that he was going to let whoever wanted into the country. I think they need to ship them all to Washington. Yep. Hang out with Joe there for a while. <laughs> yeah. So let that, Nancy serve them food out there on the lawn. Uh, you know, and I'm not sure how y'all feel about it, mm. but it, it's it's ridiculous what it's come to. It is. Listen, we need to say uh, good morning to Bailey Grace watching. Thank you. We appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yes, Hayden. That's my aunt. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, aunt. Yeah. Also, uh, <laughs> Donna Roseman, good morning to you. Tawana Lambert is watching. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here in Bailey. Uh, let's see. Roxy Richardson is watching. Uh, Charlotte Hagen is watching Don't Know and Don't Care About the Grammys. I yeah. agree with you. We don't watch yeah, it. I, I should have checked back on this earlier. Let's mm -hmm. see here. Good morning. Hope y'all have a wonderful day from Linda. 
Lori Rice is watching. Miss Ann Cook is watching. Thank you, Miss Ann. We appreciate that. Yes, we sure do. Thank you. See, somebody, uh, uh, Leona Rogers, I was reading what she said there. She got uh, banned in Facebook for jokingly saying that a friend should be slapped. Silly. But WAP is okay for TV. Uh -huh. The standards. I agree yeah. with you on it that. It is. It's crazy. I mean, it's just. And Gail Gafford said that morals have just really gone. And they have. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Debbie Penny, believe me, they're going to answer for what they do one day. You will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you will. So Gail Williams, not even two months for extreme left. Uh, let's see. Also, Debbie Penny, all of it makes me sick. Uh, Hilton and Denise Davis, good morning. I hope y'all are doing well. Donna Peebles is watching. God bless. Uh, Lietta Horn is watching. Good morning. Lita Joe. Lita Joe. Yeah, Lita Joe. Good morning, Lita Joe. Yeah, I hope it's everything is well family. in your world today. And Debbie Penny says move them in the White House. I agree. It'd be a good place for them to hang out, wouldn't it? They wouldn't know what to do. I mean, they really wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> if you're fa You can talk a big game, but until you're actually faced with what's going on. Well, I think what really, um, really ticked me off is when we were talking about the food that our soldiers... Were, were served and i'm sure some I, I, I don't know if i read it somewhere but the people at the border that are coming through that they're i mean they're getting better food i think than, than the than, soldiers than our soldiers are probably getting so you know and i like, hadn't heard any more about that if they uh, changed mm -hmm. the people that were cooking the food for them it should have been done immediately oh, yeah that is horrible i mean that's just mm -hmm. unacceptable mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's let's head out to Highway 494 and see our friends. And I'm understanding there's a new nickname that has just hit Freeman Tractor. Cole can no longer be Cole. Uh, uh, Paul Early has renamed him uh, Coleslaw, so we now have oh. to refer to Cole as Coleslaw and Buttermilk. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> if you're in the market for a, uh, a lawnmower, drop in and see my friends at Freeman Tractor. They'll help you out there. Zero turn lawnmowers, the X mark starting as low as $29.99. If you need one, they're... And they are moving quick. You go by each mm -hmm. day and there's one less. A new truck comes in, another one goes away. Uh, a big market on this right now, and it really helps you out as lawn more season gets started. Or grass season, that's a better way of yeah. getting it. Yeah. Uh, different styles to choose from. And, of course, they carry the skag more starting at forty six ninety nine. Maybe that's more of what you're up to. Drive both. See which one you like best. Mm -hmm. uh, there's different styles there that you can take a look at. Quick, easy turnaround and get your grass done in no time. They have all the LS tractors that you're looking for, uh, cab, air conditioning. If you're looking for a front-end loader, they've got that two-wheel. You can get the four-wheel drive. Handier to get the four-wheel drive, I'll go ahead and tell you. Mm -hmm. Just do that. You'll be glad that you got it. Of course, you can get attachments with the bush hog on the front uh, to go on the front of your tractor. Of course, bat wings, regular five, six-foot bush hogs. If you're needing discs to plant your garden this year, yours has had it, or you don't have one. Box blades for your driveways. Forks to pick up hay or anything around the yard. They're great to pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, benches. They're made in Texas. You'll like these. Uh, roomy. They come with the air conditioning, heating if you want to order it that way. You can also see the 550s, the 750 benches. They come standard with uh, the winches on them. Handy. Mm -hmm. and of course, you can get them with navigation systems. All there nice. at Freeman Tractor. See them. Again, Highway 494. Coleslaw or buttermilk. They'll help you. Appreciate him doing that for us. Oh, yeah, those zero-turn lawnmowers, I mean, they are right. the ticket now. I tell you, Cut your time really... in half on cutting your grass. If you have a regular, just a regular lawnmower, I had one of those, and it took me forever because I had so much grass to yeah. cut. But... And I never would have believed that before I actually rode one. I mm -hmm. thought, I ain't all that much. It yeah. is. But like, <clears throat> but practice because you can tear up some stuff <laughs> running into it. Yes. Now, I'm but not saying... Fun that this next story is going to be the new thing that hits front doors across mm -hmm. America. But it did happen in Texas. And, of course, they say everything in Texas is bigger. An old girl decided, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. A girl decided yeah. she's going to be a porch pirate. Uh -huh. She jumps out of her car and kind of shimmies across the hood and heads for the house. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a tank top. Mm -hmm. Y'all know where I'm hit with this? As we look at this new story, well, her top comes down. Mm. amongst it that don't stop her she keeps right on trucking and she comes up now it's blurred out but here she is headed toward the uh, the front door topless to steal the package oh my lord and uh she did get away with it off into a car and they've got her picture in in sizes and yeah. i think they've distributed that across well, i mean Texas. what are they gonna do put her in a lineup topless Ooh, like good you point. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, yes. You know, that, that happened definitely. in that movie Porky's. I don't know if you remember that or not. No. The lineup. I do. Well, I was little when Porky's. That was funny. Out, but Real funny. Him. 
But uh, there she is there, and she's trying to get the old top mm. back up as she goes along there, and it still come loose. Lord. But you know, that typically happens. Uh, she needs a bra. A brazira? A brazira. Yeah. yeah. Buy one, girl. Or at least some tapey things or something. Something. Yeah. But, uh, I don't might want to say all that. No. Well, <laughs> some people might. <laughs> but uh, but she's got, at least, you know, they had a show when they got home on that. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was in the package. But, you know, most people do it at Christmas. She's got a career out of this of just year-round doing yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure. They will probably catch I think they've got pictures of the car as well, so they'll be able. Yeah. You just don't go anywhere now. Mm. Now, our next story uh, headline this morning is, I, I'm shocked they did it so quick. But they have settled, the town of Minneapolis has settled with the George Floyd family even before the trial has begun. They're going to give the family, uh, let me flip over here, $27 million in the wrongful death. Now, what I don't understand is you go in here, you read the article, they're giving $500,000 to the community. Now, it doesn't say what the community is going to do with that money, if it's to a center Mm -hmm. or is it to individuals that lived, I, I don't know. It just, that's the way it worded it. Uh, mm. But they have come to a case there, and $27 million is going to be given to the family. Now, I would also think, and I don't think I'm going out on a limb here, to say that probably a movie is going to be made about this before long. Yeah. I, and it'll hit theaters. I, I do believe that. It, it, it's horrible that George Floyd died. I don't mm-hmm. think there's anybody. But I really thought it would be settled after the, the murder trial of the, the cop happens. Yeah. And that's because, ongoing. I mean, yeah. Because I, I think if he's not found convicted, the cop, I mean, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be yeah. a mess. I don't, I, I think it's kind of like the Supreme Court who wouldn't hear the mm-hmm. Trump thing. It's going to happen. This is, you know, we knew that the Supreme Court was going to dodge that bullet. Yeah. As with, I'm pretty sure that, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going out too far on a limb to think that they're going to find him guilty. There's too much evidence. Yeah. Uh, those pictures of him minutes after minutes. Was it 10, 12 minutes that he stayed on his neck? I can't remember how long it was, but, <clears throat> I mean, but, I mean, he was sitting there saying he couldn't breathe. Yeah. He couldn't breathe, so I don't know. And you know how it is when your kid's playing and somebody puts a pillow on you playing around. Mm-hmm. You can't breathe. Let me lo- Uncle, let me up. Mm-hmm. And that should have never happened. Uh, they had marches over the weekend. Brianna Taylor, uh, it hit the one-year mark, and... Protest happened as we all figured it would. In LA, it got a little bit, a uh, little bit scary. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a cop ran over two. They jumped on a patrol car. He tried to drive off. He ran over two. And then in Louisville, Kentucky, they burned a church. And is you? Well, this is them still going in Portland? Yes. I mean, still burning buildings and everything. Is there anything left in Portland? I wonder. Couldn't I mean, be. They've been burning all down, haven't they? It's it's ridiculous. But here's <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky, the church that they uh, they set on fire. And again, the church was empty, but that doesn't matter. That church should yeah. have never been torched. Yeah. Uh, that's, what is the point of burning down a building? I mean, what are you trying to prove? Yeah, I agree. I just don't understand that you're just a, a thug and a You know, as I an mean, American, you have the right to protest at any time. Uh-huh. That's, your, that's your legal right. But burning, you do not. That goes into a different realm. Well, all that mess has just been let go and yeah. let them, let, you know, they've let them do what they want to do and, you know, acted like it was just justified and in some kind of way. In that COVID bill, uh-huh. it's going to rebuild all of those areas. Yeah, that's great for them to burn it down again. And that will know. happen. We all know yeah. that. So, <laughs> it's just crazy. You never know what to believe about. And I think a couple of years from now, we'll know more if they let the truth come out about the COVID. Mm-hmm. They're now saying in a classroom, this is the headline today, that the social distancing could be malarkey, that... There's no difference in between six foot and three foot. That I don't comes from see a Harvard I, study. Yeah. I mean, to me, if it's in the air, it's not going to matter how many feet apart yeah. you are. If but you're breathing it in, you know. Just like these things, air comes over the thing. That's right. You're breathing it out. It's going up into the, you know. And then I've heard. It's where, going through the air systems. I mean, airlines you know. say, well, it's safe on our, uh, our, our flights because we purify the air. What's the difference? Because it seemed like that'd be more of a. Yeah. But not everybody has an air purifier, no. you know, and so, and, and I know they do make an LED light, I think, that goes on your air filter that supposedly could kill any kind of, um, they really? make that. One of my customers supposedly has that in their home. And <clears throat> to me, I mean, I don't understand why, like if, if that works, if it does work, I mean, why instead of dishing out a bunch of money 
for all this other stuff that does not even pertain to coronavirus or COVID, right. why don't they give businesses, like, install one of these things in their business so they can reopen in a safer environment Yeah. rather than just, you know. Well, Mississippi is so about wide say, open. Yeah, so they can actually say they're doing something, you know, to help with yeah. the virus. I don't know. There's again. Yeah. I think we're all going to be shocked when the when the true mm-hmm. truth comes out about this. Because and I, it's hard to blame everybody early on because no one knew anything about this. Right. But uh, the truth will one day come out, and we'll find out just what was what's mm-hmm. the term malarkey and what well. was not. It'll separate it. Now, this is where mixing families and getting married sometimes doesn't work out. You've got a wife that thinks that her husband is not giving her enough time. Mm. Uh, he's spending too much time with his mama and he's spending too much time with his daughter that he had by the first wife. Mm-hmm. So what does she do? Well, she just jumps on out there and spends $6,000 quickly and hires a hitman to knock out mama and the child so she'll have more time with him. She's crazy. And she done mm-hmm. this on What's Up app and he goes to the police, the guy that she hired, and then they did a fake picture of the little girl, you know, put some ketchup on the ground and sent it back to her as confirmation uh-huh. of proof of Proof of the kill. Uh, she's been arrested now. She was in New York. And uh, I imagine that old boy is thinking twice now about. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you? I mean. How do you, how do you feel about marrying crazy. somebody you really don't know? That is insane. Get you into something like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And there's people like that all the time that are hey, super. How much time could he have been spending with his mama? There's plenty. But there's plenty of people out there that, that spend time. With their mama. Yeah. You know. And that's I mean, why they call them mama's boys. Right. But, and, you know, Plenty sometimes. of mama's boys out there. It is, it is. But I, I mean, you know, I, I don't see anything wrong with somebody spending time with their mama. You know, ha, have you ever heard, look how somebody treats their mama? And True. that's how they're going to treat you? Yeah, I've heard that. But sometimes they bring along their mama to supper every night and, yeah. you know, go to the little extreme. I, well, I mean, you know what? <laughs> somebody got to take care of mama. Ooh. I hope somebody takes care of me. I hope one of mine takes care. I, I doubt any of them drag you to supper with their wife. Though. Yeah, I like, doubt Mama, it. You stay I doubt home. it. You stay home. Mm-hmm. There's, I don't, I don't get a, I don't do a lot of spending. That's not my thing. Angie does a lot more than me. I hardly ever order anything offline. I never. I always almost get hit by the UPS truck here. There's okay. something always <laughs> coming around. But they say mm-hmm. that this is a rush, like cocaine, is sliding that plastic when you buy something that gives you some type of chemical in your brain that makes you happy. Yeah. So, Until the bill comes. <laughs> yeah. But there are a lot of people that just it. don't think that Goodness. far ahead. Mm, yeah. that it's a rush. Oh, I know. I don't want a credit card. I don't want one. I mean, we've got some. I mean, my For husband. Has, yeah, my husband. But they get paid every month. But there's every, a lot of people that don't that carry, month. you know, $20,000 and it just kind of, and they just pay yeah. the interest on it every month. I, I'm slowly. sorry. Yeah, they do. Now, and it's the craziest thing because when you're trying to do anything with your credit, do you know it hurts you if you don't have a credit card? Really? It hurts your credit score because something about... Well, um, it doesn't show that you can pay your bills, I guess. I, I guess. it's. I guess it's some kind of a... Um, they call it something. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, yeah. So I guess it's better if you have one. Even if you were to like just pay for gas and yeah. pay it off and every the, month or at something. At the end of the month, it, it builds your credit. Yeah. that you're responsible enough. Yeah. Freaky story here mm. uh, that we go to next. She's and got wicked eyes. Look this, at eyes. This woman is scary here. Yeah. And she's going to be doing some major jail time before this is all over. She was, I guess, the best way to preying upon her daughter's friends. Mm. Uh, there was two boys that come over, 12 to 14. This her daughter is, had boys come over. First problem. Yeah, that's the issue. That right don't there. happen. Mm-hmm. Not, not here it doesn't. I don't know of anybody yeah. that does that. But she's convicted of sexual assault. She told them not to tell anybody. She sent pictures of herself to them. She groomed them as to what she wanted them to do for them. Now, she was married, too, now. Mm. Where was the husband in all this? I don't know. She gave them marijuana and liquor on top of it. Marijuana-infused gummy bears. Yeah. (sighs) She is a freak. Now... If you remember, Candace, I'm sure your mama, before you would go spend the night with anybody, she knew all about the parents before she'd let you go spend the night. I mean, yeah. Mama, I mean, I only had a, just a few friends that I stayed with most of the time. And, 
everybody knew everybody, you know. I remember you but telling I me. I was really weird with my kids about that. that I didn't really let mine go sleep over anything. Right. Because I didn't trust people. I like just when didn't. you told her you were going to spend the weekend with Patrick Swayze, she said, no, <laughs> not doing it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you know, he was a Meridian a few times. Yeah. But. You know, seriously, be involved. What we're mm-hmm. saying, that I bring up these stories always for, for some form of a reason, but this is to be involved in your child's life. Mm-hmm. Don't just go, yeah. Always yeah, I, check I never, it out. <clears throat> I'll never forget. We had a birthday party one time. Um, Layton was 12 years old, I think. It was a birthday party we had. Um, and it was she and another little girl. We had like a big, um, it was around Halloween that we did it. We did a haunted house in the shop. I think I've already told you about this. But there was like 50 teenagers that came to our house because they were just like handing out the invitations at yeah. school type thing. Um, but we had a little a little fire out back and, I mean, you know, music and stuff like that. But there were parents. I had I had it, a sheet of paper. I was going to write down everybody's name and their parents' name and number just in case something happened because I knew we were doing a hayride and I don't know. Yeah. And um, I swear nobody came in to meet me. Nobody got out of the car. I swear, I think they pulled up and shoved those kids out of the car and took no. off flying. Like, we got two hours, you know. <laughs> but um, I didn't get anybody's name or number. I wouldn't have known who to call or anything if somebody something would happen to somebody. But don't you agree, though? Think, Making sure you oh, understand. Oh, yeah, you need to make sure. I would have never done that. If mine ever went anywhere like that, I usually got out of the car, walked up, met the parents, you know. Right. Now, but I didn't let them spend the night anywhere. And if mine ever said, can we go stay so-and-so, I'd go, you can play all day if you want to, but you ain't spending the night. <laughs> so. Have you ever been to Tell You Ride, Colorado? No, but I've heard of it. That's a, and Tim McGraw mentioned it mm-hmm. in a song years ago. But uh, Tom Cruise now has his home for sale there, forty million dollars. Mm. That is just like unreal money to me to put on a home. But yeah. forty million. Let's look at this Somebody picture here. Somebody will buy it though. You uh, they know. are because it's it's a big tourist attraction. There's the house. Look at that. Uh-huh. Isn't that gorgeous? It is pretty. And it's, it's really pretty. And the further you go in on the inside of this, there's old Tom there. This is the view, the mountains all around it. Oh, that's so pretty. It is it's like now, a postcard, isn't it? Look at the inside of this thing. Mm. Let me close that. I don't See, know exactly what that is. I love that. That would be my dream home, like something rustic. But you would have That's to really be pretty. some kind of super rich to be able to, $40 million. Mm-hmm. But uh, a pool room? Mm-hmm. Well, building materials are right now and probably cost you $40 million you know, I'd... to build it. I'm just picking. But oh they yeah, are yeah. High, though. you go get you a um, treated uh, two by four about $9 now. Yeah, it's high. I don't know how anybody's building anything at this point. Yeah. I hope it comes down because we'd love to be able to build one day maybe. But as as Willie said, if you've got the money, honey, I've got the time. And Mm -hmm. that's what the contractors are saying at this point. Yeah. A lot of folks have postponed until things maybe calm down. And then I've heard the other side of the fence, well, it's not going to change for any time in the near future. See, I've heard that too. And I hope that's wrong. I hope that it will start coming down. That's just crazy prices. At first I thought it was because maybe of COVID and – you know how factories have been the demand of the right. product and the factories being behind and all that kind of stuff. Um, but now, you know, hearing people say, "Oh, it's not going to change," I'm just wondering, you know, what the deal is. There and, and OSB board, which everybody and their brother builds shoot houses out of now. Uh-huh. That stuff at three, four years ago was five dollars. Then it moved up to about nine dollars, mm-hmm. and then it bumped up to about fifteen. I understand. What is that stuff going for now? I thought Kurt said twenty nine dollars a sheet. I thought. Now I might be wrong, but that's I thought the that's thin what he was. Stuff. Yeah, I thought that's what he was talking about the other day. Twenty bucks used to get you a half inch piece of plywood. Mm-hmm. That's the good thick. Uh, it's scary. Yeah, he's doing like an overhang off the back of the shop to put like off of his tractor overhang thing. Yeah. Anyway, and just the stuff for just that is ridiculous. You know. Same. So beware before you go and your in your jaw drops when you walk up to the counter to get that two by four. <laughs> yeah. You better look at the prices before you just start yeah. pulling and taking up to the front. So over the weekend there was a lot of folks that dropped by Saturday morning out at the Laurel <clears throat> County Farm Supply. If you haven't been in a while, drop in. They've been doing business since nineteen hundred and thirty two there at exit one fifty one. They've got all the things that you're looking for for the decorations to make your yard mm-hmm. look a little bit better. Now, I'm not one to choose these type things because I, I'm not a visualizer. I don't. Mm-hmm. I can't look at something and think, "Boy, that looked good in front of my house." 
I yeah. just have never been good at that. But there are those who are wonderful at it. Uh -huh. Maybe you need a chicken for your front yard. I think y'all need a chicken. It's kind of indicate we got chickens. <laughs> chickens. Of course. Yeah. Chickens everywhere. Chicken mm -hmm. truck. Chicken That's truck. right. Chicken man. We've got plenty of flowers there for you if you want to do some planting. Make it just really uh, your sidewalk area look great Those there. Those are pretty. If yeah. you want to get your mulch, uh, you can get that. They've got it bagged. You can get it by the uh, scoop if you want to do it that way there. And, of course, look at this. As we get ready for bedding plants and then gardens, they've got mm -hmm. all of that for you. They've got your sod. If you need to plant some in your yard, your yard has got those bare spots. You can get the centipede or the St. Augustine. They'll make you a great deal on it. Uh, a pallet covers about 500 square feet if you need that done. And if you don't know what squ 500 square feet is, ask your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> spring, spring is here. Plant your trees and all your uh, fruit trees. And if you need any in insecticides, did I say it right? You today? did. Ooh, home That's run so for me. Fertilizer, they've got plenty of this. And, of course, snake away. If you need mothballs, they can fix, fix you up with that. And ant killer. Mm -hmm. How many oh little ants are in yards Well, right we now? were, get, when I cut grass yesterday, I can't even talk, yesterday? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, did he? <laughs> yeah, when I was cutting grass, I saw ants everywhere, and we were out throwing the ball yesterday. And I just said, you know, watch where you step. Because, I mean, before you know it, they're covered your feet. Yeah, and you're, you're doing the hoochie-coochie like, dance. Yeah, right, right. They're everywhere, though. They're coming they out. There ain't nothing worse than an ant getting up your britches leg, and you can't get it out. Well, I know. It's, it's bad. Disinfectant, if you need to clean anything at home or at business, they've mm -hmm. got that. The Mobux apparel, plenty of that to choose from. Also, the boots, as we mentioned, have some hard sole. And these are great, what I was talking about, to wear in case of tornadic activity, to wear if something were to go wrong. Have something yeah. on your feet that can protect you, and these boots are great for that. Uh, Ron, I'll show you all that uh, supply there. Plenty of great people to help you. And, of course, all your seed, fertilizer, if you're needing for your, your horse, your cattle, your Pigs, chickens, mm -hmm. they got all that fish. kind of feed. Yeah, fish. Yeah. And, of course, ammunition and guns, all at the Lauderdale County Farm Supply. A great place to drop in and visit. Uh, you, you know, I normally do this first, and uh, somehow or another I, I put it off to, to the last part. But a few things that went on this date that I thought were, were kind of special. Mm -hmm. You heard about this in history class over and over and over. But it was okay. this date that Julius Caesar was stabbed to death. And, of course, you had to study that. I'm sure that, uh, that you yes. went over that. All that stuff kind of bored me, though. I just didn't. It wasn't my favorite. Friends, yeah. Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I come yeah. to bury Caesar not to praise him. I do remember a few things from eighth grade. Mm. Uh, it was 1955 that Elvis signed with the colonel. And she, and Candace and I was talking about this. The can, You would probably in today's call him a crook. Mm -hmm. Elvis knew it but did nothing about it because he'd done so much for him. He took 50% of everything Elvis made. Now, you think about how much money Elvis had. Oh, yeah. And the colonel was a gambler. He kept 100%. You, you remember the Love Me Tender and Teddy Bear? Yeah. He made all of the money off that. Elvis signed away his likeness for the colonel to keep 100%. Mm. It would be after his death before the family got that squared up. He, was, he just took advantage of Elvis because yeah. Elvis didn't know any better. I wonder where he come about knowing him because I don't guess I saw that. And you you know what the average, you know, Elvis was paying 50%. You know what the average person makes off of that? What? 15%, and that's high. Oh, my gosh. So He did really take horrible. advantage of him. Mm -hmm. 1955 also, and Elvis redone this song, but Ray Charles was number one on the charts with I Got a Woman, Way Across Town. Love mm -hmm. that song. You ever heard it? I'm sure, but. It's She's good to me. <laughs> it was 1970. We need, we need to have a little snippet of the song. So I go, oh, yeah, I remember that song. <laughs> Merle Haggard was number one with a fight inside of me. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people still identify with that song. Uh, you running down our country, man. Mm -hmm. I, never have I watched this, and it is huge. I know a lot of people loved it, but I never watched it. 1972, The Godfather opened. Mm -hmm. Marlon Brando. So if you watched it, you know what we're talking about. That yeah. good show there. He always thought like he had a something in his cheek or something. Yeah. And if they were to kiss you on the cheek, it was not good, was it? If a man kisses you, it ain't good anyway. But yeah. it was the kiss of death in those, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. If the mafia. I didn't. I didn't watch that movie. I just watched. I just saw. But a saying, in general, from most it. movies that mm -hmm. you watch, if the mafia is after you and you're in a meeting, and they lean over and kiss you on the cheek, it ain't gonna have a good ending. Then you. <laughs> Yeah, you can count your, count your minutes. 
It was 2008, Carrie Underwood was on stage singing, and Randy Travis walks up behind her and surprises her and lets her know that she has been inducted to the Grand Ole Opry. Okay. She has come a long way. I'm proud she of her. She really girl. has. I mean, yep. she really has. Big deal. Now, this next group, of course, they're not they're not country, my, but I do remember this song. Uh, they were number one on this date with I Need You Now. Mm-hmm. Lady Annabellum faking it. They're, they're country. Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a rundown there of uh, what happened. Oh, it was '86. I forgot about that. I bet you remember this one. The Bangles. Yeah, Manic Monday. Yeah. What is interesting? I didn't know about this. Is that Prince, was my day? Just Prince another wrote man. This. Did you know that? No, I did not. And it never reached number one. It made it at number two because he had the number one spot with Kiss. Okay. But yeah, that but Manic Monday. I hadn't heard that. In I forever. remember the Bangles though. I remember. That song. But Prince, huh? That's I a good it, little song to listen to. My eyes just water watering so bad. I'm sorry, y'all. It'll be okay. Mm. All right, we got more coming up with Scotty Ray Candace. Sanders Gas, Sanders Air and Heat is your full service propane supplier since 1946. We take pride in ensuring reliable, friendly service to our customers. We also provide safety tune ups related to propane, air conditioning, and heating systems, keeping our community efficient and safe. I'm Chuck Sanders. And yes, we're local. Now, Chuck can also take care of all your air conditioning. If you haven't had your unit looked at this year Mm -hmm. before firing it up, let them come out, do a a once-over on it. If it needs a little Freon, they can take care of that and tell you what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And if you need a whole new unit, they can do that also there. And the generators. You take advantage of going down there and checking on the generators. Is that Generac? Generac. Mm -hmm. You may need that this week. Yep. And into the future, these storms that are uh, up and coming. Uh, We need to say good morning also to Debbie Penny. Move them to the White House, she said. Also, Elmer Talbert, uh, watching. Good morning to you. Oh, Michelle Lewis, how are you today? That's my buddy. I haven't talked to her in a while. Hope you're good. LaWanda Grantham, good morning to you. Uh, good morning to James and Ashley Stribling. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Gail Gafford, good morning to you. She's talking about the money that was uh, uh-huh. spent there. Linda Jane, up and going. Yeah, it, prices are going up over the next four years there. Yes. My daughter yesterday texts me from Starkville. She goes, I got gas today. It's like $2, and I don't know she, what she said it was, 49 cents a gallon. I said, yeah, and it's just going to steadily go up. You know? now, I bought uh, lawnmower gas yesterday, and I'm talking non-ethanol. Uh-huh. You, you, have you seen what that is now? No. Mm-mm. $3.05. Oh, my goodness. So it's yeah. obvious Trump is no longer in, in office mm-hmm. without a uh, shadow of a doubt. Wow. Goodness gracious, we'll be paying like five dollars a gallon when we know it. It you remember when it hit four gallons? I do $4? remember that. I do. And I had an expedition. Oh. Yeah. And and now I've got a bigger one too, but at least I've got my little car I can drive. Zip around in. Yeah. But it, I remember the highest that I ever paid was like four twenty three. Mm-hmm. And if you got a thirty six gallon tank, you better yeah. be taking out a loan. Yeah. It's it's expensive. And you know, and you sure. get into whether you make eight dollars or, <sighs> or seven dollars a minimum wage. Uh-huh. You can quickly, or if you make $30, your whole salary can be sucked up in just gas getting to work. Yeah. And but for that, that lunch. Yeah. And for those of you who, you know, I used to just put like $25 in mine at a time. That'll make know? it mad. And so, yeah, because when gas was so high, $25 don't get you anything <laughs> in an expedition. I mean, you know, I was putting like, and this is no lie, this is how much driving I was doing, because I'd go, to town, come back, get my son, go back to town and work, come back home. I mean, it was like $25 a day I was putting in that thing. I 20 can, to 25 a day. And, I mean, it was like 100 and something dollars a week. You can't handle it. Crazy, crazy. Yesterday's gas trip for the lawnmower was $26 is what I put in the lawnmower. In a lawnmower. Do y'all yeah. remember? When I was growing up, four bucks would mow uh-huh. many yards. <laughs> yes, it would. Ooh. Of course, you know, now we got these bigger tanks on the lawnmower, so... Uh, good morning to Damon Reagan, uh, watching from Kentucky today, traveling to pick up a new puppy. All right. Well, we need to see a picture of the pup. Yes, we do. And I'll throw this out there because Angie Ray is looking. If anybody knows where a Yorkie is for sale, like my little buddy JJ that, that mm-hmm. passed away, got, got arrested. So she's looking for a New Yorkie because Sophie, our big dog, is some kind of lonely. Yes. I'm tell- I, I, that she- dog was usually so hyper. I mean, it would just fly around, you know, like all yeah. over, all over the place, and and she just kind of lays around there. She just, 
mourning. She is. You know, she's she mourning the really loss of less. JJ. It's sad. And so she needs that somebody shows you to. you how animals have feelings. Though, yeah. You know, really have feelings. So it's a sad little thing. You know, it used to, the biggest thing in our house was at uh, somewhere between 9 and 10 o'clock, Angie lets them go outside and they get this stick that's mm -hmm. wrapped in bacon. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is, but that's their treat. It's a stick and then it has bacon wrap around it. Uh huh. And JJ sat and waited every night for the sound of a chair or any movement anywhere in the house and would run to the back door and do flips and Oh yeah, he, he spun it. around like the little Tasmanian devil. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. But uh it's it's really lonely. I, I'm with old Sophie there. But if you know of a uh a Yorkie for sale, Angie Ray would like to know where it is. She's trying to you can't replace an animal, but she wants to uh give a playmate mm -hmm. where Sophie can chase it in the yard and make it think it's not gonna make it back again. <laughs> We'd mm -hmm. like to say thank you for watching. We do appreciate it. Let me remind you, there is a chance of severe weather this afternoon. Most likely will be thunderstorms. Let me recap that. Mm -hmm. Always, you can never rule out a tornado. We've got a bigger chance for tornadic activity tomorrow with thunderstorms. And then on Wednesday, the big one. Mm -hmm. 3 o'clock on to midnight is our timeline. That could be tweaked a little bit, so be ready for anything on Thursday is mm -hmm. what we're looking at of some very, very bad weather rolling into our area then. I'll be here night, day, doesn't matter what time, to give you the street-by-street -street coverage as it comes across to let you know where it is in relation to you. And any time that it gets within 10 to 15 miles of where you are, mm -hmm. already have that plan and go into action. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed that it changes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'd like to, say, to get up tomorrow morning and say, hey, that risk is gone. Yeah, I hope so. Because, you know, that can happen, so. It can, but not likely. Ugh. Just be ready, though. Have a plan. Be weather ready. And yes. Batteries, candles, just in case. Yeah, yeah you do need all of that. Mm -hmm. and Because at the last second, trying to find a flashlight, you can never I find it. And then the ba dang batteries are dead because you haven't yeah. used it in forever. Well, my mother, they have flashlights that you plug in the wall oh. and it charges them. And so they keep them plugged in in the hallway. And just and grab so, it. Yeah, you can just grab it and it's charged. So I don't know where they got them, but... Lowe's might have them. I don't know. Yeah. But that's a good investment right there. So It is. Again, thank you all for dropping by. We'll be back tomorrow morning bright and early to carry you through this, and I'll be here throughout the day and night should you need me for any reason. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by...